All right, I'm here with uh, Danny McKay, who's from Charlotte, North Carolina. He's a basketball prospect, an exciting basketball prospect, and, and a very hardworking, uh, not only player, but student. Um, Danny has been at Charlotte Country Day for the past couple of years. Now we'll be uh, moving on to Woodbury Forest in Virginia, a great uh, private school up there and uh, just outside of Charlottesville, Virginia in Orange. Um, and he'll be playing for a really good coach, a guy named Craig Dawson, who I have a lot of respect for. And uh, my name's Lane Odom. I'm with uh, Sport Match, and we facilitate the recruiting process for uh, serious students who also want to continue their playing career in college. And Danny uh, fits the profile perfectly. Um, Danny is a 2022, as I said, as I mentioned, going to Woodbury Forest. Danny, let's uh, let's start off by just uh, uh, thanks for being being with me today and doing yes, sir. this. Um, I want to see kind of starting out, wh what are you looking for in a college generally as you kind of approach this process? Looking for it in a college would probably be location as well as a great academic learning, getting a good degree. Um, and also some majors I'm looking at are political science as well as business. Um, and I've always been into both of those since I was younger. Um, and so those are the two majors I'm interested in as well. Good, good, good. Um, and obviously you want to continue, can continue on playing basketball. Yes, sir. At the college level and you're very committed to it. Um, what positions uh, are you playing right now? And then I would also ask you which one you think you'll be playing? At? I would say right now I'm playing a three to a four on my AAU team. And I believe in college I could play the same, a similar position, like a stretch four or um, 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 just a small forward or a three. Um, I feel I can stretch out to the perimeter on offense as well as um, I can go inside for offense as well, on this, as, well as on the defensive end. Um, I can, I'm trying to work on my versatility on defense with guarding the perimeter, but I can also bang with the bigs if need be. Right. That's great. Great answer, man. It shows a lot of versatility there. And, and the way the game is going now, coaches are really looking for that. Guys that can guard multiple positions on the floor, uh, stretch the floor with a three-point shot, and open open the floor up. So, so really, uh, the combination forward position right now is a very valuable spot. And I can see that you're, you're focused in on it and, and good at it, too. You can really shoot the ball. Um, Tell me about your workouts right now. What are you doing weekly, daily, that kind of thing right. to improve your game? Yes, sir. In a normal week, I would meet with my trainer uh, three to four times a week for about an hour to an hour and a half, getting shots up as well as ball handling, as well as um, leaping ability with the jump rope or uh, ladder work. Um, and as well, I was usually lift two times a week, one in the week and one on the weekend, um, sometimes three. And then also, since I do cross country, I try to get in a run here and there in the week. So maybe once or twice a week, I run as well. Yes, sir. Great. Great. So you got a nice balance here between, and you're obviously making the most of this time uh, where there's uh, at least some more limited activity to uh, try and develop. That's good. Makes it making the most of every moment. Um, have you been able to, to talk with your, your coach at, at Woodbury much, or how, how are you guys doing? any engagement that you might be having yes so we have a, a big group chat of all the players um and everyone would send in a video here and there about what they're doing this week um i talked to coach dawson via text usually a couple times a week um just to ask me how i'm doing and what i'm doing this week um and i feel like there's a good connection between the team um but Every week, I will talk to Coach Dawson, and the team will send out their workouts of what they're doing. Right. Gotcha. That's great, man. That's great. You guys are doing the best you can with that. Is there anything that you'd like for coaches to know about you that, um, that, that, that outside of basketball or outside, or outside of uh, some specific question, anything you'd like for the coaches to know about you? I would like the coaches to know that I come from a hardworking family. Um, and I feel like it's passed down to me and my sister. Um, I feel like I'm a gym rat. I'll go in the morning at 5:45 to get shots up and then I'll 
go all the way up to the afternoon to get more practice in for basketball. Like either it's basketball practice or if I'm out of season, I'll go to my trainer. Um, so I'm very committed and I'm very committed to my academics as well. So I just want to know that, just wanted to let them know I'm a hardworking kid that has the passion. That's great, man. That's what it takes on the college level and really any level. But when you get to the college level, as a former coach, I can tell you that there are a lot of high expectations in terms of how much commitment you bring. And so I know you have that, too. I wanted you to, to touch on that, so I'm glad you did. Um, all right, so to lighten it up a little bit, what about your um, – are you watching any of the NBA playoffs at all? Yes, sir. Okay. Any, any players you like or would like to emulate or, or, or just enjoy watching? Um, he's a little bit taller than me, uh, but I love to watch Nikola Jokic, uh, just how he can move the ball with, for his size as well as shoot the ball and how he can create space. Um, and since I'm from Charlotte, I love Kemba Walker as well. I know he's in Boston, but um, I love to watch the Celtics with their ball movement as well. So I would say Kemba Walker and Nikola Jokic. That's great, man. Good, good answers, man. I love both of those guys. And Kemba – and watching him with the Celtics, I mean, what a what a, what a great kind of uh, role model, you know. Mm -hmm. He's always been a positive, hard playing, good good person, great teammate, you know, all of that stuff. And then Don, Luka Doncic is another one. I, was, I thought you were going to say that because that he's oh awesome. yeah, he's awesome right now. But uh, I, I look forward to watching him tonight. And I work also with the Utah Jazz, so we're we're teeing it up in about uh, <laughs> tipping it up in about two hours. Yes. Uh, against uh against denver so uh we find at least we've got some of that to watch for right now but um but you're a great prospect i appreciate you spending time yes sir uh, thank you day on this and um good luck with uh attacking the process and, and finding the uh, best fit for you and i know that you'll uh, really compliment your teammates and and the program that you that you end up in well and i know you're gonna have a great experience at woodbury Play yes sir awesome yes sir thank you all right. Thank you, Danny. All right. Bye.